Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 23, and we're at verse 39. Jesus is hanging now on the cross with the two criminals, one on either side. We talked a little bit yesterday morning about the thief who says, if you were the king, king of the Jews, save yourself. But let's read verse 39 and look at that today. Then one of the criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, if you are the Christ, save yourself and us. Okay, so it was save yourself yesterday. Today it's if you're the Christ, save yourself and us. Now it says that he blasphemed him. He blasphemed him. How did he do that? Well, he blasphemed him by saying, if you are the Son of God, by, by putting the question mark there, oh, you are the Messiah? Really? Really? If you're the Messiah, then save us all and we'll all get away here. So, again, we talked about Jesus and, and love for self and love for others. Here we're looking again at this, 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 what is blasphemy that's going on. So when we think that Jesus, when we express that Jesus is not God, that he's not who he says he is, he's not really the Son of God, he's something else, that puts us into this, this blasphemous space, and there's a signal to us here to remember that. Be careful. Always be careful in such a space. But what about this criminal who says, well, if you're, you know, prove it. If you're the Son of God, prove it. Prove it by saying yourself and us. Well, these guys, we're going to see tomorrow, they're guilty. Hey, they are they're there for a reason. Jesus is innocent. Well, again, we'll see this tomorrow. But why would he save them if they don't give themselves to the Father? Why would he save himself if it would mean the loss of the entire human race, which it would? So, so yes, there's some things going on here that the criminals, you know, obviously the criminals don't have full clue. They're not really clear about the theology of what's going on here. And that's all right. We can understand that. Jesus cuts them some slack. We can cut them some slack, too. But remember this. God is always consistent with his own things. God is always consistent with what's right. And so Jesus is not going to just suddenly change his mind. Yep, this hurts pretty bad. Uh, I'm out of here. Uh, that's not the way it's going to be. He made his decision. Now he's hanging on the cross. Now he's finishing this element, this part of making the atonement for humankind. It's because he loves you that he endured all these things endured them. Even though we were treating him like weasels, we were treating him like uh, like we were just a bunch of rats, but he loved us anyway, and he still made a pathway to the kingdom for us. As Jesus hangs on the cross, we continue looking at the gospel of Luke. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus went all the way through. He didn't uh, stop halfway through. He didn't take a break, didn't take a time out, didn't pause for a, a drink of ice water. Lord, we just thank you for Jesus, that he was always true to himself, true to himself, even, even in the agonizing torture of, of crucifixion. Now, Lord, we again pray that you'll help us, even though we are criminals. Uh, we pray that you will give us repentant hearts, hearts that will turn to the side of Jesus, and that we will turn to him. Oh, Lord, be our helper and our, and our blessing now, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, may God's blessings go with you today. He certainly earned those for you when he was on the cross.